everybody. Welcome to my 2020 Ice Yarn Challenge. I'm sure you've all heard about it by now, but Krista from The Secret Yarnery and Glenda from Creative Grandma have created this challenge for everyone to use a pack of ice yarns to make a scarf or a shawl or basically any other wearable. And then just to be overly inclusive, it just changed to whatever yarn you want to use. Well, I have a lot of ice yarns in my stash, so I wanted to make it with ice yarns. The first thing I made was a bias scarf and the pattern I found was a tutorial by Bob Wilson 123 which will be linked in the description box below. And for that I used this ice yarn here and you'll see a lot of pictures in a montage at the end of this video of all the yarns I used and unfortunately I couldn't get a link from the website but I did get pictures from today to show how much yarn is left in those particular yarns I was able to use. So this one is bias so it goes all the way down to skinny and I believe Nicole from Alpaca My Yarns Mad Designs is going to be making the same scarf or shawl. So for how I do it I just put it up on my shoulder like that and twist the other end around and I have a little bit of um, chain work on the side so I can tuck that end in and then it covers right down here and I just did a little bit of lace work at the bottom here just to give it a little bit of texture. So that was scarf number one. The second project I work on with ice yarn I made with this yarn here. And again, you'll see lots of pictures and descriptions of the yarn in the pi pictures at the end of this video. I did my very first virus shawl. And for me, this was just an okay project. Really what I probably should have done was use a regular four weight acrylic because I've never done this pattern before, just so that I could see the stitches working up in the stitch definition that I'm more used to. But this yarn is super soft and it turned out pretty well. So I'll show you it in a couple of different styles. So I think for me this one will be worn more like a triangle scarf. It does add a lot of texture and it's really pretty. And I used a tutorial by Fiber Spider for this, so I'm going to also link that in the description box below. Happy Monday, everybody. I'll be back next week with my January update. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll talk later. Happy crochet.